What is up guys and gals? Chris at Rockford Ordnance. Welcome back to The Rock. Thanks for tuning in today. It's been a while. Uh, we have just had a rough time getting videos out to you, but we've hopefully made it up a little bit with our live stream. We've been doing it on Wednesday nights, 7.30 Central Time. Tune in tonight. We're going to have one. It's going to be all AK. So if you guys are into that, please uh, get in that stream, comment, like, subscribe, just like you, we'd like you to do on these videos here. If you like and subscribe, it sure helps uh, the algorithm and gets things moving for us. I appreciate everything you guys have been doing. You can check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our Patreon channel too. Uh, there's some pre uh, premieres of our new videos before they hit the mainstream and a lot of other good stuff that you can check out. We're gonna have some patches coming out and some other stuff. So it will be kind of cool, but uh, let's get into the video today. You know, we've been a fan of Arsenal products for quite some time. And uh, as are a lot of people, right? Some consider them the best thing out there in years and years and years. And we've brought you many other videos on them. And today, we are bringing you the SAM 7 uh, SF, that stands for side folder. So uh, these are nothing new, they've been out for a while, but there was a new batch that came in. Uh, the previous one I think came in, if you look at those guns, I think they were 2011. Uh, and so that tells you something, right? That batch lasted how many years? Eight, nine years, right? And they ran out. Uh, Arsenal Kvar got some new ones in and this is one of those from the batch. So like all other SAMs they are a milled gun. Many uh, fans of the AK platform consider the milled AKs to be the best AKs, right? Smooth, uh, maybe more durable, more reliable. We'll get into that um, but that may or may not be true. But, uh, you know, we've got all our other little friends here from uh, Arsenal. We've got a, a stamped version. This is just their 107R. We've got the fixed stock version, uh, the SAM 7. We've got a cool little uh, crink variant that we've brought you. What else do we got? We've got... Uh, the 556 version that we recently brought your video on as well. And uh, let's see, this is a 107 SF side folder. And of course, the creme de la creme uh, 107 uh, SF, I'm sorry, 107 FR, but that's a Krebs gun. Just uh, our favorite AK right there. But uh, this uh, is one of the members of that family that is just hard to pass up. One, because it is a mill gun. Two, because it brings you some of the modern factors of the folding stock and the rail and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. You know, when you get an Arsenal uh, SAM 7 or SAM 5, in the literature they bring you, they talk all about the receiver and how many steps there are to uh, milling that uh, receiver, forging it first off and then milling it, I, I forget, I don't know, crazy amount of steps, 3,000, 5,000, something like that, or five hours takes them to, to mill one, and it shows. There's, if you look at this receiver, I don't know if you'll be able to see, I hope the light's not reflecting too much, but the receiver is absolutely immaculate. I mean, there's no mill marks anywhere. Really, really nice, nice finish. You know, the, the finishes on these guns have been in question for some time as far as how the paint holds up, right? They're parked and then they paint over them. And we've had pretty good luck with all of ours except for, um, I think it was our 107R, the, the uh, fixed stock stamped version. The barrel heated up and some of the paint's gone and it's kind of worked its way down a little bit. First it starts discoloring. Some people have said there's been some bubbles. I didn't experience any bubbles, but it definitely discolored a bit and you really can't tell. And I have a paint that I use when uh, refinishing some rifles. We did it on our Wasser 
and it's something you can do at home and it matches this perfectly so uh, it's not a big deal and it really it doesn't look that bad if you left it alone anyhow but uh, being a side folder version let's let's start at the back and work our way up being a side folder you know it's it's made to get in and out of vehicles easily stow easily uh, keeping the truck that type of thing and it's pretty uh, simple operation this button right here just push it and let me tell you it's stiff <laughs> but you push the button and there's a little locking tab right here and it locks onto this hook here by my pinky so you simply fold it click it in and it's good to go you can well Normal, if you were used to having just a regular safety, you wouldn't be able to operate it. However, the SAM 7s have a safety here. It's ambidextrous. So with your thumb, let me get this sling out of the way, you can work the safety on, off, and you can also fire the weapon. So it can be fired like this. It will cycle. It is hard to charge it from that position, but you can do it. So it folds up real nice, and then to release it, you just, there's some knurling here, you push on it, pops open, and snap it into place. The uh, height of the stock works out perfectly for me. With uh, iron sights, I am dead on, and it's comfortable. It's rounded, there is some space here um, to fit over some of the, uh, the safety and whatnot. And it's a little bit different, folds to the right, a lot of stocks fold to the left, but when they fold to the left, sometimes you'll get in the way of the optics rail. So that's not a problem on this gun. You can use an optic, a mount. Uh, we use our that's regular and some of the uh, arsenal mounts we like as well. Although the arsenal sit a little high. But uh, yeah, that takes care of it for the stock. Pistol grip is standard uh, US made polymer, matches uh, the handguard and the gas tube cover. And if you notice, we got a little sick of black, and if you've been around the channel for any time, you know OD Green is kind of our, oh, our go-to, maybe uh, like a, uh, our symbol or, or whatever you want to call it, a, a, a trademark kind of. I love OD Green, and we've got a lot of OD Green guns. So went with this OD Green on it, and it's subtle. In some lights, it almost looks black, so you have to really look at it. But it goes nice with the sling. Now, we've got a Circle 10 Bulgarian waffle mag in here. My opinion, these are the best mags on the market, period. Yes, they're a little pricey, but steel reinforced uh, feed lips and locking uh, mechanisms front and back. I would love to get one in OD Green. They did have them a few years back and they're gone, long gone. Um, like the plums, you know, those are coveted by collectors, and I would love to have an OD Green mag for it, but they're bringing 250 to $300 right now, and I just can't justify that. So maybe we'll get a little coat of uh, Cerakote on there, or something to match. It does match perfectly with Magpul OD Green, so that would be kind of cool, because I think it would add just the right touch on this gun. Uh, we talked about the safety. You can manipulate it like a standard safety, you know, up and down, and it does lock in real nice. No chance of it uh, overrunning the top cover. And then the, uh, the ambidextrous on this side, the lever here, is really nice. Works perfect. It's not too stiff. Uh, a tiny bit, but not so much that it'll be perfect after a little break-in. We haven't even... Uh, shot this gun just haven't had time and we've had it for quite a while but uh, just haven't had time so uh, while we're on that side the scope rail is standard anything will work on it from like I said the RS the Arsenal Midwest Industries those are probably the top three I can think of off the top of my head that work great top cover is nice and tight there's a tiny bit of wobble and uh, I can't really say it's bad, it's about perfect. Uh, it is set up for the locking mechanism they used to use on the Vepers where you push a button down here, but it's not uh, being used on this one. You push in on the button like any other, take the top cover off. It is a heavy stamped top cover, no ribs, which I kind of like the look of, right? Um, as far as recoil spring goes, 
It is an RPK style, so it's uh, telescoping. It's not the uh, the flat uh, spring metal, you know, the clips. Yeah, so it's just a little smoother. Things that make this gun what it is, right? Now, if you remember back to our video on the pistol, the uh, Sam 744, that is a pistol. So when it comes is comes into the U.S. or is imported into the U.S., it's not subject to uh, the same rules that the rifles are under import. So they can leave the trigger mechanism in there, and that has a double hook trigger. However, when it comes to the rifles, uh, we've got to change out X amount of parts for it to be legal. One of those is the trigger, and this is that fine group enhanced trigger. It's not a double hook, it's a single hook, but it's very nice. Uh, there's not even a mark on this thing, and the reset is a little long, but not bad. It's very smooth. Um, so we'll see. We're, we're going to run it for a while. You know, we usually go to ALGs. I bet in these guns here, let's see, ALG, 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 about half of them ALGs. And the rest would be, but they're in short supply. So they're coming back, though. I've seen a lot on the shelves. Just haven't wanted to spend the money. So uh, when things get a little better out there, we'll add some to these. As far as the rest of the internals, it's all standard AK. Uh, you've got standard piston with the grooved head. Uh, it does, the tip does come black from the factory. The bolt is a standard AK bolt, not a thin stem. Uh, it does come with a little grease on it and all. I, I've cleaned this gun and oiled it and ready to go. And uh, as soon as we can get out to the range, we will do that. Gas tube is like anything else out there. Uh, it's vented around the uh, gas block here. And US polymer gas tube cover as well as handguard with a heat shield. Guys, these are perfectly fine. You could run the life of this gun with uh, that furniture on there and be just fine. But, you know, it will change out with just about anything on the market. The only thing you have to be careful of on these stamp guns, of course, is the stock. The stock mounts differently than your standard, uh, uh, your standard AKMs. It's got uh, two tangs if you had the fixed stock version. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. Uh, when this comes off, this is like an extension. So you do get a little longer length of pull on this folding stock. But if you were to remove this, a regular stock would go in. I don't think the trunnion's different. It may be, but I'm pretty sure it's not. One thing, though, you run into with the folding stock version of this is you have the mechanism here that grabs it, right? And there's a spring in there loading this. If you're looking at this and saying, something's off, it just doesn't look right. Well, that's because there's no cleaning rod in here. And we're so used to seeing them with cleaning rods, it's part of that iconic profile, right, of the rifle. Well, they recommend you don't put one in. It's all drilled out for it and all, but they recommend you don't put it in because it would be long enough and they say it could mess up the spring mechanism in here and they won't warranty it. So they give you a multi-piece cleaning rod that comes with it. Um, I'm tempted to take a look, see how long it is. Maybe cut one down, uh, not for use obviously, but just for the look of it because uh, it just seems like something's missing when that's gone, right? Anyhow, let's go forward. So we've got a 90 degree gas block and then we've got our front sight block. I'll tell you this from the factory, this thing is dead nuts straight. Nothing to worry about there. It is, the sight is, let's see, no, it's about even side to side. We'll see how it shoots and if it's on the money. I found that most of them are uh, really, really close. You do have a 24 millimeter uh, threading for the muzzle device and it comes with an AK-74 muzzle device on here. These work great at both uh, hiding flash somewhat 
and uh, keeping that uh, muzzle rise down. I like them, uh, like the look of them. Uh, you can add anything you like on there. I do see a lot of guys putting, uh, you know, Bulgarian four-piece flash hiders on there, or conical ones. I saw a few on Gunbroker, and I get it, guys. They look cool, but if if you do a little research, you'll find that those are meant to increase back pressure on pistols, suppressed weapons, things like that. You don't really want to be increasing the pressure uh, with one of those devices on a rifle. No need. These weapons are, you know, let's face it, they're so reliable because the average AK out there is overgassed. I'm not saying terribly. A, a good one is gassed correctly. Uh, maybe a little high just for uh, to make it uh, keep working you know but uh, you don't want to increase it on a rifle if you don't have to why do you want to deal with more recoil and all of that as far as the sights go standard uh, ladder sight the uh, adjustable for windage and elevation 800 meters and uh, yeah not much to say there about them barrel is a standard profile you know it's not a thick one like the Vepper it's not some spaghetti barrel just nice nice barrel it is uh, cold hammer forged and chrome lined so nothing to worry about there and uh, these guns are just fabulous they have a reputation for running super smooth and part of that is when you're talking about a milled gun your rails that the bolt ride on and all are obviously where they should be on a stamped gun you can run into on occasion uh, rails that may be just a hair high hair low and you get some of that you know wonkiness as it's running forward and part of the design of the AK on the stamp version is there's room for that uh, any of those little differentials right those tolerances uh, so this being a milled gun it's just smooth now is it smoother than all stamp versions no I will not say that um, I've got some stamp guns that in my opinion are smoother than the Sam uh, the Vepper for instance phenomenal some of my arsenals uh, Yugo's you know it, it's it varies gun to gun but uh, I can't say 100% that, oh, you got to have a milled gun to make it smooth. It's just not the case. Uh, it is, you know, for a gun that we have not shot, it is smooth. I'll give you that. Now, as far as the bolt riding over the trigger on this, let's see if we can get it to hang up. No, nope, it's not. Um, a lot of American triggers, the hammer's a little high, so that's that hang up you get. If you look at Comblock triggers, they're much, much lower than U.S. triggers. And uh, that's what causes some of that hang up. Not a big deal. Just slows it down a little bit, but not a, not a big deal. Um, you get your sling loops here. The receiver's drilled, and they have a, a loop here. And then you've got a loop up here. Standard sling. Uh, works great. I like these slings. They're simple, easy. Um, there is no QD point on these rifles, but you could certainly add some if you wanted to. Not a big deal. Um, I really, really like this rifle. It's kind of the best of both worlds. I like folders, uh, side folders, under folders. I just like them. A lot of guys, they're not comfortable with them. I am. And uh, it was one of my first AKs that my wife bought me. So uh, it's kind of near and dear to my heart. And I like under folders and side folders what can I say um, if you haven't tried one try one they're they're not that bad what else what else obviously 762 by 39 uh, you know then what else would we buy an 8k in 545 would be nice and we did buy our 556 I think that's going to come in handy should uh, ammo imports go away uh, what are our plans for this? I don't know. We're going to take it out, do some shooting, and just enjoy it. I don't know if we'll put an optic on it. I get so many optics on so many rifles that, you know, sometimes it's just fun to go back to iron sights and, uh, you know, test your skills. As the eyes get older, uh, maybe they need a little workout once in a while, you know. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see what we we can do. I don't have an optic in mind right now. I don't have a side rail. 
And, uh, you know, when you start adding all that up, that's a big chunk of change. And it's just something uh might not want to spend right now. Um, that's about it, guys. You know, these, these rifles speak for themselves. They're so iconic and so well built. Uh, it's a really nice rifle. Don't get me wrong. Don't think I'm bashing on it when I say that... Uh, uh, there's some stamp guns that are smooth. It, it's just there are it's it's a nice rifle um, The prices they're bringing today would I buy it today? Probably Not but I have one if you don't have one they're not obscene yet But uh, if you don't have an AK and you're thinking about this for your first or one and only rifle I certainly would put this up at the top of the list because it is one of the finest available today. Um, they're probably going somewhere just south of 2000 bucks, maybe around $1,799, $1,899, something like that. I have seen them on Gunbroker well over $2,000, uh, but know that you can go straight to KVAR and get them. Uh, they're on their website one day, gone the next. They come back the next week. So if you're looking for one, keep an eye out, and you can always get them at MSRP. So uh, it's not a bad place to look. A lot of people don't realize they can go straight there. And there's some really good guys there that I've met and talked to over the years that helped me out. And uh, they're good people to deal with. The shipping is like immediate. And uh, just good, good guys, good stuff. Parts, all that stuff. So uh, don't be afraid to give them a call or shoot them an email. Um, they don't sponsor the channel. Uh, don't have any sponsors, wish I did. <laughs> We're thinking it'd be nice to get a coffee company because after all this is coffee and Kalashnikovs, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the Rock Rockford Ordinance, but coffee and Kalashnikovs, we've kind of reserved that for our live stream. So if I get this video out in time, please check it out tonight, 7.30 Central. It's going to be good. We're going to be talking about this and answering all your questions you may have, whether you're a veteran or you're new to AKs, no worries, uh, we can answer it all for you. One of these days I'm going to have to get Mr. Krebs on our live stream, that would be cool, huh guys? Uh, get him on there, do a little Q&A, and uh, he's got just a wealth of knowledge, incredible guy to hang out with on a Saturday. Anyhow, um, with everything going on out there, make sure you're paying attention to some of these uh, bills and laws that are coming up uh, regarding the Second Amendment. You know, there's H.R. 127. That's the big one, you know, the, the one everybody's screaming about. Uh, that, I don't know. It's so crazy that it may not get past the House. So I don't know that that's our big fear. It may be uh, something to distract our attention away from what the true plans are and I think what that's going to be is you're going to see some of these smaller bills or parts of that bill put into uh, one of the COVID relief bills. It's going to be tacked on these omnibus uh, bills and uh, that what does that do? That gives Republicans some cover, right? They can later say that, oh, well, I had to vote for COVID, you know, I, I wasn't voting against gun rights, but I had to vote for COVID relief, you know, and guys, that just can't happen. Not one more inch, not one. We're not giving up anything. Uh, compromise is all we've done. And what have we gotten in return? Nothing, zero. So keep an eye out on that if that does pop up and even, even not, even with HR 127, be calling your representatives, be calling your senators. It makes a difference. When there's enough people reaching out, they take notice, their staff takes notice. Shoot emails, hey, go back to snail mail. Emails are one thing, it's just a blip on a screen, but when they get a bag of letters, like you know, uh, Santa Claus getting his letters at, at Christmas, right? When they get a giant mail room full of letters in, people stand up and take notice. Uh, give them a telephone call. Call them. When you light up those switchboards, it makes a difference. You're a pain in the neck at that point. Um, and that's what we got to be. We know they are. They stand up. They speak their mind. Uh, we're polite, right? So we do it in a ladylike and gentleman-like fashion. Well, maybe it's time to not uh, uh, be as nice. We need to speak our minds, stand up for our rights, and stand up for what we believe. So get out there and uh, do what you can, guys. The littlest bit counts. Hey, speaking of that, check out my friend uh, over on 2AEDU. He's got a fabulous 
uh, live stream. He's on Friday nights, 8 o'clock, and uh, he's got some great videos too. He's been doing a lot on AKs lately too, and I'm hoping maybe we see a collaboration uh, on a live stream or something like that. So stay tuned. I'm also going to bring you a video on the entire Arsenal family and what's been out there the last year, a uh, few years, what we have and kind of that whole family group. Might even throw in a few Veppers. So uh, stay tuned. There's still a few things available out there guys. So if you want one, grab one. Uh, you can get these mags. They're still out there and they're great. Uh, with everything going on with the prices of ammo and prices of guns and lack of availability, mags, for the most part, are still readily available and the prices have not went up. So it's a great time to just load up on those. I mean, you can get AR mags, 10 bucks, 9 bucks, 12 bucks, uh, 10 packs for under 100 with ammo cans, everything. Get out there, snarf them up because when this, this stuff comes down, if it does, uh, a, you won't be able to get them. B, the prices will be through the roof. C, maybe it's a small retirement account for you. But uh, most, uh, most importantly, you have them uh, when they go away. So make sure you grab some. Anyhow, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, enjoy. I hope you liked it. We're going to get this thing out to the range. We'll bring you a shooting video, and I'm sure you'll like that. We're getting out there soon. The weather's broken a little bit, so stay tuned. Other than that, thanks for everything you do. Uh, check out our Facebook, check out our Instagram, and as always, Rockford Ordnance out. <music>